That's the way it is. So they'll cancel U.S. Grant. They'll cancel who, free, who won the war that freed the slaves. They'll cancel Abraham Lincoln, the president who freed the slaves. They'll cancel St. Junipero Serra. They'll cancel Jesus himself. They'll, can, they'll cancel all of these people. Now, the, the cancel culture is having an effect beyond this. There, there was a person that I had never heard of until yesterday who is one of the most prominent YouTubers. Her name is Jenna Marbles. And a very important stuff, Jenna Marbles. Jenna Marbles has a YouTube channel of 20 million people. 20 million subscribers. She's been around making videos for now for 10 years. And they're just kind of funny videos. Well, she's quitting now. She's quitting the whole thing because people are digging up old videos of hers that she had deleted, where I guess she told some jokes that she now thinks are offensive. And they're trying to ruin her reputation 10 years after the fact, after they were deleted. Here is her tearful goodbye. And I don't want to put anything out in the world. It's going to hurt anybody. So I need to be done with this channel for now or for forever. I don't know. So, all right. Good talk. See you guys. Miss Marbles is apparently such a prominent YouTuber that she actually has a statue at Madame Tussauds Museum. Although certainly that statue at this point, all the statues are coming down and especially that one of her. That line, she says, I don't want to put anything out in the world that hurts anybody. This is the problem. W what we are now being told is that if you, if, if a person has done anything bad ever, anything that is not perfect, that is grounds to tear down the statue. But consider the argument in all of these shootings and all, all of the shootings that allegedly led to the protests. Candace Owens got in a lot of trouble because she pointed out that the media haven't told the whole story about some of these officer-involved killings, and, and that in some cases, the people who were killed had a long criminal rap sheet. Maybe they were committing crimes at the moment that they were killed. The, the response to that, the popular response is, how dare you bring up that person's past? That person's past has nothing to do with what happened in that moment, and we shouldn't judge a man based on the bad things that he did in his life. Even, even if they've done years and years of long, terrible things, beat their wife, abused their kids, we can't judge them for any of that. We should only judge them on their, their few best moments. And yet the statue argument, the cancel culture argument is, doesn't matter how much good you do in your life, if you've committed one or two bad things, that's what you should be judged by. The, the double standard is absurd and it's obviously incoherent. But we are long past the stage of making finely tuned arguments. This is about brute political force. This is about an ideological group clubbing everybody on the head for their own interests. Whether their arguments make any sense, that isn't the point. This is a bare knuckle brawl, at least until November. And I think, unfortunately, one side of this is going to go wishy-washy and buy into the, the lying premises of guys like Andrew Cuomo and the anarchists and the avowed, admitted Marxists who are running BLM. And they'll say, well, I just don't want to hurt anybody. Please don't come after me. I'll quit. We can't quit, folks. We can't quit. This is the fight. We're in it now. And you can either stand up and, and fight that fight and hopefully preserve America before they tear the whole thing down, preserve American solidarity before they divide us up completely, or you can surrender. <laughs> <laughs>